And now, Blind Wave proudly presents Cooking with Blind Wave. This episode, chicken goat blueberry sandwich with orange thing. Julius. Julius. Hey guys, crew Blind Wave here, and we're cooking, cooking stuff. Julius we are stuff. cooking actually a breakfast I cook sometimes for myself and Joy. It's kind of high on protein. It's you know, relatively healthy. Mm. And what it is, it's a uh, it's a chicken sandwich with goat cheese and herbs. And one thing I do is I put it on uh, a bagel. And it, Mad and it, man. And on, a, and on a cooking show, I, I saw something similar to what I do, and I use a blueberry bagel. 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 So, bagel. Yeah, bagel. 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 So this is the first time you're doing this? This is the first time I'm doing this. Risky. It's yeah, I think it's going to be cool. It's going to have a complex flavor of like something that's kind of salty and herby yeah. or something sweet. All right, and, I'm in. I'm in. And then, uh, and then I'm making an orange Julius with an egg. So, orange Julius. Okay, so now, for our ingredients. Oh. Oregano, thyme is on my side. Pepper, garlic, goat cheese. Next, chicken. I think we're gonna just grill the meat. I mean, we're gonna cook the chicken, okay? And what we decided to do this time is we're just gonna use some cooking spray. This is Pam's coconut oil. Oh, okay. Pam, 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 Pam! So spray us down here. Do you spray it at the fire? No, oh, no, no, the, the thingy. You spray Pam. Okay. Okay. Calvin. Yeah. Have to remove the meat and put it in there. I think maybe two, two. What are you doing? Oh no, that's rock chicken. Salmonella and die. Where did we find this boy? <laughs> <laughs> the park. Rick and Shovel and Dane. I mean, Slapped. He was eating chicken, so then he's fine. <laughs> yep. A uh, chicken. Like a, a live chicken. You and taste we, it. And we're supposed to have a food processor. This is supposed to also be a food processor. We're going to hope that it works. Okay. Uh, there's a little bit of hope in this recipe. I like hope. Yes, hope. A new hope. This is the dullest knife point. It's for steak, isn't it? Couldn't cut the plastic? No, I couldn't. Cheese. <sighs> like chicken it. has natural oils. Not, not all not, natural. Not chicken breasts. Do like, like three at once. Take it out. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm using chicken breasts that are cut thin, okay? Thin cut chicken breasts. Yeah, two. And there are three. only three, three. okay. Okay. Can I count them? Watch your hands. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil down just to provide a little bit of moisture. Okay, there it goes. This is olive oil. Should probably use uh, an oil with a better smoke point than olive oil. That's okay. Like coconut oil? Yeah. One thing about this is the meat is supposed to taste pretty clean, so I don't season it with a lot of garlic and pepper. Sometimes I do a little bit of salt. So you want to do a little salt? Yeah, do a little on your hand, and maybe just do a little bit of salt on there. Please. <laughs> like that? Yeah. More? No. I, I like. Uh, no. Dude, the meat. The meat's supposed to be a pretty clean taste. Just do the do the crane. What, what is that? It's on this one only. <laughs> there you go. That good? I think it'll work. Yeah. Um, sure. That's perfect, right? Yeah. <laughs> wait. What? So now we have to wait. How long do we wait? So it's cooked. To the internal temperature is 165 degrees. We're just, gonna, we're just gonna guess. Okay. No. Several bad puns later. One. I can just start juicing the juice, and then we can use that juice later. All right. Right? Are we using Stay right here, then. Give me a knife. Eric, no, a knife, not peanut butter, a knife. That's more peanut butter, Eric, a knife. <laughs> How much do we have? <sighs> What's really cool is I, the, old, the previous owners of the building, they left this old citrus juicer here. I've never used this type of juicer. Okay. Uh, it doesn't really work with apples or leafy greens at all. But I, I just ran it. That was spit. I, I rinsed it out with my jizz. Oh, shit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that was a little hard. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so hopefully this works. I don't know, but you guys will get to see it live the first time I was doing it. Okay. Yeah, I thought it'd be more exciting. Don't break it, don't break it. Look. Yeah. 
All the juice. I mean, I think you got a lot of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you got it all. It sounds like someone tinkling. You I'm not gonna, I feel like this yields it. less juice than the pepper. Yeah, yeah, it's not. Something's, something's not satisfying about this. Well, it's, I think it's old stuff. With that. Well, those old people down there, the old shit. No, but hey, we they, need new they stuff. gave us cookies. I don't know. Or we made out of lead. Gonna get lead boys. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you like black lung disease or something. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wow. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Does it feel satisfied? All right. I'm gonna flip yeah. this chicken oh, now. Man. Listen to that. It's, it's, it's like queefing. Uh, Jesus. It's like 80% cooked on one side. I'm gonna flip it over now. Okay, a little splash of citrus. Yeah, careful, Eric. Right, careful. Don't pinch your finger, your hand. Where? Right, right there. Here. This one. Because that closes. I, I have it up like this. You didn't. I just, yeah. You were holding it. You were, Eric. We were just telling you what you were doing. All right, did it. Shane, what is your other method Denarate. of juicing? Uh, we have a centrifugal juicer. Blind with owns one. Uh, I think about getting it out because I'm not really satisfied with how much juice it's yielding. It doesn't just make sense. those curds in there. It just feels like, okay, all the juice is out, but sometimes somewhere between here and there, we're losing juice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we are, but go get your other one. Let's compare yeah. oranges. All right, here's how we will decide. We will juice these two oranges and see about how much juice we get out of each one. Can we juice three? No, we're gonna juice these two. Okay, let's do that. Technology has you doing a lot more work, Eric. You can blend the rinds. Will it blend? That is the question. All right, there you go. Okay. Is that peeling enough? Yeah, it is. Okay. So, as long we we know, do we know exactly how many oranges are in the other one? No, you're comparing your one orange to my one orange. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. That's empty now. Particles and fibers. Yeah, yeah. Because it's got plastic in there. <laughs> okay, so can, let's I, see. I, the I, I mean, I can tell right now this is more. Well, let's see. I, What's I that right now? It's also false because it's it's full of air too, so it looks like more than it is. What we should do is put these both in the fridge, let them cool for 24 hours, and let all of the bubbles oh, pop shit. out of them for 24 hours. <laughs> it's one. It's, it's uh, two thirds of a cup. Okay. One cup. But I hold the previously, as you can see, it looks like mm -hmm. it looks like it's all foamy. I think it's just because there's a lot of bubbles in there. Well, my judgment is that technology wins! Start cooking more chicken? More chicken. Okay. Yeah. I can do that. And while that's going on, I'm gonna juice some more orange. Okay? More chicken, more oranges. Here's an orange. Huh? What? What? Jeez. Here, another one. Jeez. <laughs> we also need to uh, uh, make sure we separate the herbs from the stems. Okay. okay. So we got thyme, we got oregano. Uh, dude, this slimy. Fuck! That smells bad. Are Still you cooking anything else in here? No, just, I'm not. Just toss them in there. Really? Yeah. They smell bad. Well, let me, I'll, I'll, we'll find out when I cook. Eric is going to continue to juice the oranges. I'm going to de-stem uh, this thyme and oregano. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a weird process, actually. I'm going to grab a plate. White plate. Why a white plate? My dad's favorite skip in color. Oh, my god. What? That's fucking nuts. What? What? There's like a caterpillar. Huh? There's a caterpillar. Holy it shit! It doesn't matter, cause but that's just fucking nuts. I got it. Can you see him? I don't know what to do with him. <laughs> I don't want to walk over there. The park. Wolfie, it, I should kill him. This, this is shipped. I mean, there's someone else out west. Yeah, what, what if I introduce the species? What if I yeah, introduce the population that fucks up everything? And he's female, and he's his genetics cross frog. And then he turns into a butterfly, and then you have an effect. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously, uh, the other juicer, the manual one, is uh, we call it it's cleaner juice because it doesn't have air. Uh, but I mean, also, I, I think it did also get less pulp and it, it did juice less. Yeah. But not that much less. Yeah. Why don't we use the actual uh, herb stripper that we have? Oh wow! Did not. 
Okay. Other way. And it strips it into the bowl. No. Yeah. I'm dragging a needle. Can we go do the opposite way? Can we go, oh, do, can we go do the opposite way? Huh? Is it a needle! I believe. I'm not sure. But I think Jenny Teach sounds that. Well, thank you, Jenny Teach. I guess I'm Herb Stripper? Like. I feel like I gotta go against uh, oh. the grain. That's what I, I know that name, Jared Herb. It looks like something sound like a drug skate, users would use. Like a skateboarder. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's supposed to have like two teaspoons of this, uh, so I think I'm just gonna stop right now. Now we gotta do the oregano. Two teaspoons? Oregano! Two or three tablespoons. Oh, okay. I don't know which ones are the same. Uh, yeah. Tablespoons are the bigger ones. Alright, we got it? Yeah, I think so. Maybe a little too much, actually. <laughs> now what? Uh, thyme and oregano, okay? What time? Now get that blender. Blender! blender! Now there should be some kind of food processor setting on here. If not, then yeah. This is where the hope comes right, in. Right, so I have to go get it. Cut that red bell pepper out, please. Put it in here. No. Uh, what do I? Uh, I made a joke to. once. Small, big strips. Oh, we're diced. gonna put in the food processor. You can just, you know, heaping strips. So just open this up. Heaping yes. strips. Yes. Yes, please. Uh, because I knew I was gonna do some blueberry. This is honey and goat cheese. Blueberry. I mean, honey and goat cheese. Uh, goat cheese. Yeah. <laughs> honey and goat cheese. Goat cheese. Honey and goat cheese, goat cheese. Honey, um, goat cheese, blue. Still have some white cream. Yeah, that was there before. Shit, just to wash it off. Also, I forgot to say this earlier, but honey. What? Is this honey, not you, honey. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, we're gonna use this to sweeten uh, our our Julius. Uh, dice it up, not dice it, but uh, just slice it, please. Slice. Is your pay up? Oh shit! You want him to cut the cheese? So we just cut it. Yeah. Well, dice. How much cheese is that? Uh, yeah, the, the, what these are are four ounce cheese things. So. Cheese four ounce up. cheese things. things. Okay, there's some cheese. You cut this one up? Yes. Now what? Uh, we put it in the we put it in the blender. Okay. Let's put it in. All right. Okay, now we're gonna put this goat cheese in here. Goat cheese. Put the goat cheese over. in. Put the goat cheese in. So this, this is just the best cheese ever, then? Uh, yeah, it, it's pretty good cheese. And of all time? I mean, this is the type of cheese you oh. use. It's kind of a really clean uh, cream cheese. But what what about this? When cheese fails. Uh, yeah, put two, like, no. This is what I would do, actually. That's uh, pretty, pretty much what I do right there. Two, but I, yeah. Two quarters of bell pepper. Yeah. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do about half of it. I used to use different cheese when I played StarCraft. I'm gonna have to take the top off. Oh, Jesus. Puree. Try that. Puree. Try that. Sorry. Broken. Broken. Yeah. It's working. It's working. It's working. Maybe a little more, uh, maybe a little more of this. Okay, it should be done. Oh, uh, dish. Yeah, so I can take that, we can easily scrape it out, put it on our blueberry bagel. A bagel? Bagel. Bagel. Uh, it's pretty dense. So now we got this in a bowl. That's what it looks like with the red bell pepper. Sweetens it up a little bit. Okay? Oh, don't try it till we, don't try, don't, please don't try it till, don't, <laughs> Eric, right now he's putting uh, the blueberry bagels in our toaster. Not toaster oven, just toaster. Ah, yeah. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hold on, hold on, just a little bit more. Huh? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. You shit! He's all better, guys. <laughs> okay, what we have? This is four cups of freshly squeezed orange juice. Okay, freshly juiced. juiced. Yeah, squeezed and juiced. Squeezed and juiced. Okay, uh, put in two cups. Huh. Uh, put it in two cups? Put in two cups, please. I've seen this in Die Hard. 
pour it all in, and then you pour some into one gallon thing, and then some into okay. one gallon thing. Okay. Now we need a, we need a we need a cup of milk. Yeah. <laughs> cup of milk. Jesus. Can 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 can. Tablespoon of honey. Come on, Shane. Buy local honey, it helps with allergies. Yep. Two tablespoons of vanilla, put that down in the cheese. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm starting to put it on your dad's eye. It was a mini <laughs> For this, let's go ahead and do a real, real, real oh, measurement. What are you doing? They're right here. Spoons are here. No, 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 that's not a tablespoon measurement. It's it'll work. It'll work. It'll work. It'll work. It's a yeah. spoon, damn it. It's a spoon, guy. Right here. No. Do it right Sorry, we don't want to use it. He's a chef here. That's too small. Let's do this one. Is it a tablespoon? I've got one of those too. This is a spoon that I put on my table. Yep, good, perfect, it's already done. Wow! Yay! So one, and a two. And then uh, a cup of ice cube. Ice cream? Ice cube! Ice cream! Ice cream! Got it, wait! That'll work. I'm going to get a cup. Put it in there. Oh, nice! Okay, some ice cubes. The help got. Sister down in time. Ah, ice cubes. And then a raw egg. A raw egg. And raw egg. One raw egg? Yeah. I never had a raw egg before. Never? No. Me either. I'm sure. No! <laughs> Damn it, Cal. <laughs> I will tell you what. Salmonella, when it's on eggs, it resides on the shell. Yeah? Sure does. Well, looks like you're not getting any. One or two eggs. Do one. The acid from the orange actually kills a lot of shit, you know. Alright, it does help. Like, I mean, push the buttons. I mean, a lot of Asian cooking, that's what they do with like pound. Like, like, that's what they do on sushi and their fish. I squeeze lemon on there. Ice cream? No. Ice cream! Turn it into ice cream? Just do a smoothie. Try to get it. Huh. I. Put a bit of toaster in there. Bagels in the toaster. Bagels in the toaster. We don't taste it yet. Please don't, Shane. Oh, wait, do you put yeah. the egg? How does it eat? Do you put the orange in <laughs> Wait, we should put orange juice in it. I got orange juice in it. Just not a lot, okay. I say do a bit more, because this is a bigger batch. I do okay! I'm gonna go ahead and spread this on uh, the blueberry bagel now. That's been toasted. Yes, it's been toasted. Just got out of the toaster. All right, we have our orange juice. Our ice, our vanilla, our honey. Everything's in it? You need lettuce or anything on it? Uh, when I make sandwiches, I do lettuce tomato, but this is a breakfast bagel. Oh. Breakfast? Yeah. This is breakfast. So, we'll have Rick come over, or? Yeah, we'll have Rick come over and check this out. Okay, so Rick, try it out. Good. Mostly taste of goat cheese. That's the strongest taste I get. Mm -hmm. but it's not a bad taste. Yep. It's a sweeter cheese. And no, it's good. Cool. What about the orange Julius? I, I would eat this every morning. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. It'd be you know besides like the processed blueberry bagel, it'd be pretty healthy for you. There's. Check it and taste it through that fucking phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I taste this phone. They gotta be a little foamy. Like <laughs> actually, some people put like cream like. Fucking cream shit in there when they do it. Just tastes like weak orange juice. Yeah, I mean, might need a little more sugar. <laughs> the, odd, the, the idea is like just egg in there. It's a little healthier. Yeah, I mean, my dad. Oh, when I was younger, growing up, he would get OJ. OJ. He would get OJ and just uh, throw an egg and mix it up with a uh, those little those little uh, beater little beater things. Where now? Does it fit? <laughs> <laughs> the oregano and thyme is something that this woman I used to work with a giant eagle, Charlotte, told me to do. Put it on a chicken sandwich. Okay, and then I was, you know, over the years, watching some cooking shows. And uh, I think Jamie Oliver, he does oregano, goat cheese, and something. No, he does thyme, goat cheese, and something else. And he put on a blueberry bagel. Eric, you're next. I ain't, I ain't got like all the honey. You are next. 
Here's the sandwich with the smallest piece of meat that there is. Small meat. Mm. It's good. I like it. I, I wish I would eat it every morning. It's good. Huh? What's that? I won't. <laughs> well, it might take some preparation. What's cool is you can make this, put it in the fridge, and uh, it's a lot easier after that. Mm -hmm. Which one's the drink? Is this uh, a new one? The link. Yours is right there. Yeah, it's pretty. Oh, I wanted one. to try the one with all the honey. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> <true. laughs> we already have this one on camera. Yeah, it's like a creamy orange juice. Yeah, I mean, it's orange Julius. It's nothing special. <laughs> orange Julius. I mean, they taste I mean, with a name like Orange Julius, I expected something special. <laughs> well, I mean, it's how they've been made for a long time. Oh, uh, OJ. Uh, sometimes you... Like, this deserves to be stabbed in the back like season <laughs> It's great. What do you think, Aaron? It's not too bad. I waited so long. I might make it even messier. Put an egg on top. That, that would be good, yeah. I'll egg on we'll, top. Maybe, maybe you put like some Dijon mustard in the cheese stuff. Hey, I think it polluted the, the taste of the herbs. Cheese. Oh, cheese is the cheese some consider to be unnatural. Why? Is that just hot as shit? It goes for weird. Devil. The thing is, like, that, that's cold and the honey was room temperature, so I'm wondering how much the honey blended up. I don't know, I blended the ice. I wasn't. Ice wasn't very peppery. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Creaminess to the to the orange juice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it's smoother. All right, let's go, Kevin. Thanks. I will say it does have like a clean taste. Mm -hmm. That if I was going for like a healthy thing, mm -hmm. this, this is like, it feels like, it almost seems like the most flavor I can get for something healthy. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know I mean? that's when you're herbs and you can add more herbs. Um, and and, and I, I didn't want to salt up the chicken and take away from the sweetness of the cheese and herbs. Yeah, and you can still taste the bagel. And, and of as, course, and the blueberry adds a little bit too. As subtle as the bagel is, you can still taste it along with all the other flavors as well. Well, I think it's everybody. Yeah, yeah. Right. I, it was I, great. I just had I just tried for the first time. Excuse me. With the bagel, the blueberry bagel went pretty good. But like I said, I use this sauce. I, I do season up some chicken sometimes, and I make a sandwich with sourdough bread with lettuce and tomato, or maybe watercress, which is a little bit of spice here. Uh, it's a pretty good healthy sandwich. I don't add any other shit to it, uh, like salt, you know, salt or garlic, pep, garlic salt. Unless I, I'll put real garlic on it. But yeah, I use this as a base for a lot of stuff. But uh, it's a good, healthier alternative to uh, to cream cheese. I think Melanie may even eat this. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Like, there's lots of things that we've made that you're like, we're gonna do this. And I look at it, like, there's no way Melanie would eat that. Mm -hmm. But she might eat this. <coughs> She's very pretty. Well, yeah, the, <coughs> and the jewelry, as you said, is just a smooth. It's just kind of smooth. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's just kind of like one eggshell piece. But... Honestly, it's just kind of like a morning hell shake. Yeah. It's great. In the fifties, before they knew sugar was terrible for you, yeah, they dumped about loads of sugar in there. Yeah. Cause they thought they know any better. Oh, now they know. But uh, you know, you can still sweeten with honey or even apple juice. <laughs> but yeah, guys, this is it. This is a breakfast I make. I hope you like it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. Cookie with flour. Oh, you got a little bit of stuff left. Come on. What? No, not again. No. Thank you for watching <laughs> Cooking with Blindway. If you want to see more stupid shit like this. Please consider supporting us on Patreon.